but the most time consuming part is understanding the keywords and how people are searching for your product. If you guys have been following my content, I say keywords are king because, all right, so I'm gonna teach you how to run an exact manual campaign ad, okay? We're gonna go over here to sponsored products, okay? And then we're gonna come over here to campaign and in this example, we're gonna use that monkey design again, okay? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and copy the ASIN, right? And then we're gonna come over here you're gonna type in the niche, right? I always recommend you name the campaign with the niche. And then you can put manual, exact, okay? Always name, like if you can, if I could put, put in my ASIN into the filter section of the campaign, right? And it shows all my ads and I can see all of them converting and doing really well. That's what I wanna see, right? I wanna wanna see if I have a listing or a product or a book, uh, a shirt, a uh, pop socket, whatever it is, if I can just type, put it in the ASIN and then all pops up, that's what I wanna see, okay? I'm gonna come down here. I'll leave all this pretty much like everything as is, okay? And then I'm gonna manual targeting, okay? And I'm gonna dip down only, okay? And I explained this too in this video right up here. Okay, check that video out in the auto campaign. I kind of go in how to run an auto ad right up here. I kind of explain this a little bit more and go into more detail, but um, if you're first starting off down only, okay? If you wanna be a little bit more aggressive, go up and down. And then if you want to be a little bit more aggressive, you can just put it to, you know, whatever bid you want to want to do it to right here. Um, now I'm going to go down, uh, down, leave this right there. Then I'm going to put the ace in, go over here and grab this ace in over here, the dabbing monkey, put it over here. Okay. Add. And then I'm going to come down here and leave that, leave that suggestion and leave so check this, I'm check this, I'm check this and leave exact. And then a default bid, I'm gonna go ahead and do, let's say 20 cents, right? All right, now the exact, okay? It's gonna tell you right here, exactly matches, exactly matches the keyword or sequence of keywords. Okay, so basically this sh shirt is converting over and over. So it has a ton of data and key, long tail keywords in the back, as you can see right here, right? When I plug it over here to Helium 10, it's telling me the number one search phrase, okay, that it's ranking for, right? And then it has another one, right? And this is your goal too. You want to rank organically. Like you want number ones all through here, right? Um, but the cool thing is once you start making sales, you start con you start converting, you start ranking for all these long tail keywords. And that is the goal, right? That's how you're gonna make more sales and that's how you're gonna make more money. That's it's very important that you understand that, okay? Because if you do that, it's a game changer. That's how you make thousands and thousands of dollars online. Uh, with Merch by Amazon, with KDP, pretty much is a rinse and repeat process, just selling on Amazon just in general, okay? This is powerful. This is the this is the money-making stuff, man. So let's say that this doesn't have all this, right? None of this, right? Okay, it's a new shirt and you're just testing it and you want to launch your first ad. On, but also too, I recommend if you have, if you're not running exact uh, ads, you know, uh, uh, ad campaign to one of your, your top selling designs do so. It's gonna give you a ton of information. You're gonna have a ton of data back here and you're gonna kind of get the idea like, okay, cool, this has a search volume. I wanna grab this long tail keyword. Okay, I'm gonna come over here to enter list and then I'm gonna start adding them in, right? And it's gonna tell you some stuff right here too as well. You can also, let's say if it's a new shirt, okay? You don't have, you're running into a new shirt. You can try to get an idea of how a customer would search for your product, right? How would a customer search for your product to buy your, let's say your standard t-shirt, okay? You gotta keep that in mind. So even if you just start very broad, let's say you have, we're using the monkey still, the monkey design, right? Monkey shirt, okay? Now, if you don't have no data, by using the AMZ suggestion expander, you can do this too as well by just pressing space. It's gonna give you a ton of information to help you out right here, right? Okay, so you wanna keep that in mind. And also, you can come in here and Let's say you want to use this Helium 10. Let's say like you want to do a product research, right? And you want to find the top selling product related to, let's say your design, right? You can do this too as well. And it's going to let it accumulate. And then let's say I wanted something with a decent BSR or a decent revenue, you know, that has consistent sales. And I could see that, you know, let's say, you can see the dabbing monkey. Let's say you let's say your, your your design is targeted to boys. Okay. I'm thinking dabbing, I'm thinking this is targeted to boys. So I would take the ASIN, run it into the ASIN is popping up right here, and run it into helium 10. Or you can you don't have to do that neither too. You can just 
coming to what we just did, typed in monkey shirt, right? You typed in monkey shirt and you just kind of just go down here and see what's, you know, what has the most reviews, okay? Without looking at the BSR or anything. You want to get some data, you want to get some driven data, like the data, the more reviews, the more ratings or whatever the heck you want to call it, the more information you're going to have on your end, the more long tail keywords that you're going to have and you can plug into Silly Bro, get a better understanding, to get these long tail keywords and just, you know, start with five or 10, right? But if you are, let's say that you already have your auto ad and you have like a research ad going, right? And they're making sales. And if you guys are unaware of that, you got to go back and watch the other videos. What I'm talking about right there, those, once they start converting and they're successful, it's going to give you long tail keywords from there too as well. Okay. And you can just, it's a like literally just grab the auto ad from the auto ad and let's say you have some winning successful long tail keywords over there that are converting really well, grab those, put them into the research and then grab the ones that are converting with it really well from the, the auto and the research and put them into the exact, right? So there is multiple ways of doing this and different strategies that you have to keep up with. And I'm like, oh God, this is overwhelming. Like Amazon ads are just a, a whole nother ball game, right? It's a whole nother job. And this is why it's, it's, it's crazy because it's like, man, it's like it's never ending, <laughs> you know what I mean? But once you get it, understanding of it, it's like a week to week thing, okay? Not a daily thing, more of a week to week thing. So it can kind of help clear your mind. And also too, you can give someone access to the back end of your uh, Amazon advertising on the back end. So if you want to hire somebody to help you, you can like, you know, take care of your, your ads and stuff like that. And kind of, you put like a system in place. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of building systems and stuff like that. So, all right, well, you get the idea. So let's, we, we said, so we, so let's say that it's, it's this one right here. Okay. We found it. We did a research and, and this is an ad, or if you have one already, that's doing, if you have a, um, accessible design already doing it, put it into a uh, Celebro or figure out, you know, your keywords. Cause you got to figure out how the hell people are searching for your, your, your design. Okay. That's the most important thing. I don't care what you use. Just figure that out. All right. So then we're going to come over here. We have that monkey kid shirt kids. Monkey shirt kids, okay. Monkey shirts for kids, okay. I'm just gonna tell you some information here too. Uh, monkey shirt, we won't rank for that bad boy right there because that bad boy got over 1,200 search volume this month. All right, women's monkey shirt, we'll rank for that one too. All right, and let's put like you know, let's put and the, and the also too, this can build out like over time as you start to get more and more data as you're optimizing stuff. You optimize this, you'll be dominating the whole niche just by one t-shirt design they can make you over a thousand dollars a month just one t-shirt design i know i've done it okay okay <laughs> or you know, over time all time i have one one uh t-shirt design has done over twenty thousand dollars so that's all time too by the way okay you make that very clear um so we got let's say we got five to ten um long tail keywords that we want to add right here so just press add keywords and then we're gonna launch and boom okay it's literally that simple that easy but the most time consuming part is understanding the keywords and how people are searching for your product, right? You, I'm telling you, you apply that to any single, any platform, right? It could be on Etsy. You can be on Facebook marketplace, whatever, Redbubble, Amazon. You learn this right here is it's just the total domination. Like it's over, right? And you just change your life. You make all kinds of money. Of course, it's going to take time, of course, but as you learn and you start to figure out keywords, this is why I tell you, if you guys have been following my content, I say keywords are king. And this is hopefully understand that this is why keywords are king. Because literally by looking at these keywords, you can get an idea of what people are searching for and what they want on a shirt. And it's just a rinse and repeat process after that, right? And you can see look at monkey business socks. This is like, those are unreal, like totally different products, but it just, you can even find new products, right? Let's say you want to go into the private label game or if you want to start selling socks, there it is, right? You're seeing stuff. It's giving you information, okay? Of course, you got to be careful for trademark and any of that stuff, but it's it's giving you information and this is very powerful, okay? So, all right, that's over. Just going to press launch campaign and boom, okay? Um, these are, this is more of a, like a, the match type. You can see right here, it's more of a targeted to these long tail keywords. Okay, you're trying to dominate and rank number one for these keywords. Okay, and check out my next video up here.